Good morning, viewers, brothers and sisters. Our word for today, welcome back to my channel. Our word for today is the fragment, Psalms 55, verse 1 to 8. Cast your burden on the Lord, and He shall sustain you. Psalms 55, chapter 55, verse 22. Once a Christian said, Every so often, my computer becomes sluggish. Frequent use of certain programs and documents causes pieces of information to become scattered, requiring my computer to search for the pieces before I can use them. To fix it, I need to run a program that retrieves the pieces and groups them together where they are easily accessible. This process is called the fragmentation. Like my computer, my life gets fragmented. One situation tugs on my emotions while I'm trying to concentrate on something else. Demands from every direction bombarded me. I want to accomplish everything that needs to be done, but my mind won't stop and my body won't start. Soon I become to feel weary and useless. Recently, I attended a retreat where one of the handouts included a prayer with the words that express how I felt. Lord, I am scattered, restless, and only half here. King David also went through such times. Psalm 55 verse 2. In prayer, David presented his needs to God morning, noon, and evening, confident that he would be heard. Verse 17. Prayer can help to defragment our lives. When we is when we cast our cares on the Lord, He will show us what we need to do and what only He can do. Once Julie Ankerman said, O oh Lord, we bring our restless hearts to you in fervent prayer. Now help us wait expectantly while resting in your care. We need prayer the most when we have the least time to pray. Now, sometimes in our life, uh, we feel so uh, restless, stressed. We don't know where we're going. But the nice thing is that God is always there. He's in control. Just surrender everything to God and trust in Him. He will take care of everything. Now, if you are new in my channel, you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, this is not joining a religion or a sect or anything else, not joining anything else, but to have a personal relationship with Christ. Day-to-day -day basis, God is with us always once we accept Him as your Lord and Savior. He is alive. His Holy Spirit, His hand will be always with us to guide us, to teach us, and to help us. Now, we don't know when we will die. Any moment we could die. By accident, heart attack, even sometimes people die in, just by being sleeping. When you don't know, what will happen to you? You're afraid tomorrow or what will happen? This is the right time to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. He promised salvation. For John 3.16, God gave His only begotten Son. Whoever believes in Him shall have eternal life. He promised us eternal life, assurance of heaven, once we accept Him and confess all our sins. If you're involved right now, in astrology, going to fortune teller, having affairs, immorality like adultery, fornication, lesbianism, homosexuality, relationship. This is condemnable. God hates sin. We should repent. Cheating, lying, idolatry, anything that is excessive in ahead of God or you put anything first before God is a form of idolatry. We need to confess it. You're smoking into drugs. You feel so hopeless. Maybe you're depressed. 
your have uh, contemplated on suicide the good news is that God loves you he cares for you and he'll take care of you just surrender everything your hatred bitterness everything and everything is forgivable God can forgive everything what the Bible say that he will forgive everything he will cleanse us once we accept him and repent of all our sin I'll lead you in a short prayer right now please follow me Lord Jesus I open my heart to you right now I confess that you are my only Lord and Savior you died for me in the cross and you rose in the third day and you will be coming soon and I open my heart to you please come into my heart Lord Jesus you're my only Lord and Savior Jesus thank you Lord for coming into my heart I'm sorry for all my sins if you're sinning in smoking, drugs, homosexuality, lesbianism, astrology, idolatry, confess it right now. Cheating, lying, hatred, bitterness, confess everything right now. Jesus will forgive you right now. Holy Spirit, thank you for coming to this place. Thank you for convicting me to accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, that I'll give all the praise to Jesus Christ alone. Now, if you're sick in the body, you have cancer, tumor, you're deaf, you're blind, you're mute, cripple, you even have AIDS, heart disease, liver disease, kidney disease, arthritis, you're a barren, cannot bear a child, you have back pain, bitterness, hatred, you have this... Uh, you're paralyzed, your stroke. The good news is that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and forever. He heals the sick. We read in the Bible, He's the same healer, the same God who is alive right now. He sent the Holy Spirit to touch us. I am not the healer. Jesus Christ is the healer. He deserves all the praise and the glory. Prayer is like this. Yes, no, and wait. Sometimes we need to wait. Sometimes no. God has His own reason. We just need to surrender everything to God. You're confused. You're fearful. All these things, I'll pray for you. Now, I'll pray for you right now. Put your hands in the place where you're hurting. If you're blind, place your hands in your eyes. Mute your mouth. Deaf in your ear. If you have back pain, place your hand right now. The Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ will touch you right now. He's the healer. I'm not the healer. By faith, you will be healed. Like in the Bible. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cast this cancer, tumor, heart disease, liver disease, kidney disease. I cast all this out in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I cast this cancer, tumor, Crippleness, deaf, blind, mute, back pain, arthritis, barren. In the name of Jesus, I cast this out. In the name of Jesus. Confusion, fear, I cast all this out. In the name of Jesus. Begin to thank and praise Jesus for the healing. Give all the praise to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for touching them and touching us. For the healing, thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus, thank you for sending the Holy Spirit for the healing. We give you all the praise and the glory. Thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Now, if you're new in my channel, you have not subscribed to my video, please consider subscribe. Much appreciated. And share the video. Thank you for watching. God bless. Thank you. See you tomorrow.